Let's let's allow producer Ben Fadden to take over a little bit of the wrap up show because he suggested yesterday when we talked on air about this, which is basically what we were saying. The conversation was this: like, do you want Otani or do you want Soto and Machado long term in a Padres uniform? But even if you wanted to shift that to, if you could choose two, what two do you choose? Machado, Otani, Soto. Now we know that you have Machado and Soto already in uniform. And under mm-hmm. contract, one of them for one year, another for two years. Now you could listen. I think it's a fair conversation, and you've you've just made it here, and you made it yesterday on the radio. You said you prefer Soto to Otani, like as in if you took Machado off the board, because everyone's going to say keep Machado in a Padres uniform, by and large. That's a Padres mm-hmm. fan. So let's get that deal done, extend him out. Now you're down to Soto or Otani. Who do you choose? I think it's an interesting conversation. And who impacts the organization more over the next five to 10 years? Is Otani going to remain a two-way player into his mid-30s or late 30s? Soto's four years younger than Otani right now. But, I mean, that that's a worthwhile conversation, I would say. Do you want Soto for $400 million or do you want Otani for $500 million? By the way, Jeff Fletcher, who's the Angels beat writer, who told us last July there's no chance in hell that Otani's going to be traded when people are talking about it the final week or two. He's going to join us today on John and Jim at 4.30 if you want to tune in. San Diego Sports 760. But I think that's an interesting conversation like Soto, Otani. But you can't guarantee Otani. You can guarantee Soto, theoretically. I have an interesting thought on that. Mm -hmm. So here's why. I could Let me try to convince you to choose Manny and Otani. Okay. If you choose Manny and Otani, okay, guess what? You get Manny, Otani, and Soto for at least one season. Correct. You get all three for one year. And it's like you have to win the World Series. You get all three for one year. Now, if you choose Manny and Soto, you don't get that opportunity. It's a very interesting way of looking at it. Now, if you had all three in uniform for one year, though... And again, I don't care. No one does. But right now, they're not going over this 273 number, this right. CBT number. They'd obviously be way above it. Right? And they'd have no pitching because you lose Darvish and you lose Snell. But now, granted, you put Otani in the rotation. You have Otani and Musgrove. Um, nice one, too. And then Martinez. And then Reese Kinnear. And Reese Kinnear and whoever <laughs> else. Right? You're going to score 10 runs a game. Right. But it's an interesting thing is like there's a – there is a like that would make sense if you're AJ Preller and Peter Seidler. If you're thinking about it, like, okay, we probably can't get all three long term, but we could probably get all three for one year. Hmm. And we're going to lose one of them. And that probably is going to be Soto. Well, if you want to play that game, I, I can I can get you all three of them in 2023. Well, then you trade. Yeah, but but are the as Angels- a rental? As a rental, if you, if, if you only want to have them for, if you can only guarantee having them for one year and you want the payroll flexibility to do it, then just go find a way to get Shohei Otani in July it's of It's much easier than trading away every single prospect you have for Shohei Otani for a half a season than just, just going out and paying $40 million for him. And then you keep all your prospects and you get them for a full year. Yeah, but you can't. You, you, a that's long, not easy. I know it's not even none of it's easy. None of it's easy. I'm just thinking of like interesting ways where I'm trying to like beat the system here. And if instead of choosing Soto and Manny or, you know, like or Otani or whatever the case may be over here, I'm choosing all three and I could do it in one season. Yeah, I know. It's interesting. Again, these are like fun, creative. But I do think no matter what, if we're talking about all three of these guys, the one guy that everybody should choose and will choose and we're probably choosing as well. It's Manny Machado. Like that is the number one guy you got to lock up long-term. No questions asked. Yeah. Especially when you consider that this off season, there are so few impact bats. I mean, so few that, yeah, you have Otani who's this unicorn and then you would have Machado and the, you see the deals that have been given out this offseason, and you just don't want to get into that. You, you don't want to consider the idea of Machado as a free agent and what that could potentially cost the Padres even to bring him back. Now, Alton Gonzalez wrote today about Otani potentially becoming the first $500 million player. I think it's very realistic. We talked about it yesterday as well. But he also wrote in there 
that it's widely considered that Manny Machado will return to the Padres one way or another, as it maybe opts out, but then gets a bigger deal, maybe gets extended. But that was Alden Gonzalez from ESPN who says it's widely considered that Manny Machado will return to the Padres beyond 2023, which is what we've been saying as well. We just said that there was a chance greater than zero that Machado would leave. And I still believe that. I think there's a chance greater than zero, but I still think there's a distinct possibility and likelihood that Machado returns in 2024. I do too. I just think that the two sides, the relationship there is too good. The only way this thing gets messed up is somehow the Padres don't offer him like if they blow ball his ass, if they low ball him like severely, that's the only way this gets messed up, I believe. But you and I agree that that's unlikely. Right. I'm just giving you the only thing that I think would throw a wrench into Manny Machado staying here for the rest of his career is if the Padres low ball him and don't offer him that big contract. I just that's the only thing. I agree with you. Let me get to the super. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for your support of this channel. If you want to make sure we get your comment, if you want to support this channel, click the dollar sign in the chat box down below. Please subscribe. That's all we really ask. Please subscribe. Smash the like button for us as well. John says, what about Snell, Darvish? We still have to sign. I don't know about Snell. I don't know what that priority is. I know that Darvish, or we believe that Darvish is a priority and that they are hoping to extend him out for another year or two. But this is all part of that conversation that before you can talk about Otani, you got to get your house in order. Like we said, you can't have two starting pitchers, even if you have the best two starting pitchers in the game. You can't have Otani and Musgrove and nothing. You're going to need Darvish because you're going to need him to complete this rotation. You need Darvish. You need Musgrove. I mean, you, you need more than that. So I don't know about Snell. I don't know if we'll be able to afford him, but I think the priority should be Darvish keeping him in a Padres uniform beyond 2023. Would anybody be heartbroken if Blake Snell left after this year? Depends on the year he puts together, but as we speak now, no. I think Darvish is, uh, even though he's way older, more reliable, pitches more innings. Um, those two alone are the reasons why I would keep him over Snell. Mm -hmm. And look, if you get a career year from Snell, that's great. You get a career year from Snell. Right. And then let him walk. And let him walk because I, I don't have faith Snell could put together like if say he has a career year this year, right? Do you believe if he signed like a five year deal with the Padres? Do you believe that four of those five or three of those five years would be the exact same as this this come upcoming season? No, no, not even close. He's just not reliable, and he doesn't pitch enough innings. And for those things, those reasons alone, I'm not giving him a big contract. What did, what show is that? Oh, that's like um Shark Tank, where Mark Cuban always says that. For those reasons, I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, like whenever exactly. he tells us, whenever he tells a contestant, like I'm not going to invest in your company, he always says, "For those reasons, I'm out." Thank you, John. Again, uh, Brian uh, says, "Do you guys believe a trade for another starter will happen before spring training?" I think it's a possibility. I don't know if it's a guarantee, and I don't know if it happens before spring training. Remember last year, Sean and I was in spring training. Yes, it was extenuating because of the uh, lockout, but I think it's a possibility. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think they're shorthanded when it comes to starting pitching. So I would put it at 5149 that you get a trade for a starting pitcher. I think it's more likely than not that the Padres will trade for a starting pitcher before the start of the season. What do you think? I think that is likely to happen, but I also wouldn't like be upset if it didn't. I just think that if if anything were to happen before the start of the season, trading for a starting pitcher would be my guess. Because Great. that's what they need. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to sign anybody, and there's no one else to sign. So it's got to be a trade. And plus, I mean, God, knock on wood, just but with any sport, you know, in preseasons or whatever the case may be, if by chance you have an injury, then it kind of forces your hand, and then you have to go out and trade for yep. a starting pitcher. It's a good point. You know, this is a really interesting point from Thomas. And I agree with this. Does Otani almost pay for himself? Like the exposure and revenue you get with him has to exceed almost any other player. No, Thomas, I think you're spot on. He, here's the issue with a player like Otani. It's not, is it worth it? It's, can you get him from the other 29 teams? I mean, shoot, the Padres already ran into this. They offered reportedly Aaron Judge more than the Yankees did. Didn't get him. 
-hmm. They offered Trey Turner more than the Phillies did. Didn't get him. You're going to get that now to like the second degree, at least, with Shohei (laughs) Otani, where you could offer 550, but now someone could offer a 650 or 450, and he could take more because, Jim, it doesn't matter. 550 or 450 for Otani is the exact same thing. With marketing, if he goes to New York at 450 as opposed to San Diego 550, you might say it doesn't go as far in New York than San Diego, but he might be able to get 500 million more endorsements in New York than he could in San Diego, at least long term. So I think there's a zillion factors to consider. Like you are flat out recruiting this guy, not just because you can pay him the most money. You got to woo him over in like all areas to land him. Like he didn't choose the Angels because the Angels were this like yeah, powerhouse franchise. And it wasn't money, right? Because there was a limit in what he could be paid, right? At that time. Yeah. But if you're picking, and at the time it was he he had to go to a team pretty much that was a had a DH. Well, I want to go to LA. Yep. Not the Dodgers because they don't have a DH yet, but the Angels do, and they're still in LA. So mm-hmm. let's go there. You know, so uh yeah, the market does matter. Um, because if he is in New York with the either the Mets or the Yankees, you're right. That pays hit for himself. Who cares about the contract? Right. Yeah. And with his global reach, I mean, I mean what is that worth to the Yankees? I mean, you're now marketing to Asia on your batter's eye or on your backdrops or whatever. You know what I mean? Video and the Yankees signage. brand worldwide is already massive. Huge. Much better so just than angels. Plop in Shohei Otani there. You're like, okay. That's worth who even knows what that's worth. Hundreds of millions of dollars, I'm hundreds sure. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. 